on PD engines, um, there's a fuel pump inside the gas tank. You want to cycle the key on when changing the filter just to see if it's actually working. You can have a pump that doesn't work and the vehicle still runs. Uh, so just place a container uh, on the feed hose and cycle the key. So engine's running, uh, no sign of uh, fuel starvation or anything, but this fuel pump can cause priming issues and no starts if it doesn't work. I'll just measure the current draw around the pump feed. It doesn't matter if I get the polarity wrong, uh, all I have to do then is swap the clamp or swap the connection at the meter. Well, this went. If you don't let me. Okay. And it's zeroed, so I got no activity right now. So I'm just going to tap on the bottom of the gas tank, see if it comes to life. I have a pattern, it's upside down, so I'm just going to swap this around. As you can see, it's quite a bad signal. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Yeah, I can really hear the roughness. I'll import it into my software, PC software, and then I'll show you the actual data file uh, via screen capture. So it needs an in-tank pump. Okay, here's this uh, fuel pump current waveform or current wrapping of the fuel pump. Uh, and you can see here that for most of the time here that there is no, ac no current flow, meaning the pump's not even turning. Um, and uh, it wasn't until I hit the bottom of the gas tank that uh, it would start to spin and continue to run just on its own momentum uh, even though the brushes weren't ma making contact at certain places and you can see the amperage is just barely hitting 3 amps and then all the irregularities here. Let me just zoom out so that you can see what the uh, pattern looks like for uh, a couple of rotations. Uh, what you're seeing right now is just one rotation of the pump um, or 360 degrees. So here you can see the two humps everything that's similar indicates that it is oops sorry let me just go forward here a little bit more here, okay so all every hump that is identical to the next pair is when the uh, uh, is basically a full revolution so from this point here at the beginning of the uh, first spike to the beginning of the second spike here that's one full rotation so basically all this flat spot here that's just the pump turning on its own momentum there's no actual current flow uh, and then once those uh, commutator brushes make contact again the pump spins again uh, and like I said it was quite noisy running rough through this part here where it was just making a slight contact uh, and electricity was moving uh, and that continues basically while the pump was running and then because of the fact there is so much dead space here once the vehicle is shut off odds are that uh, the next time you start the car the pump would not pump and since it's only a transfer pump it's not really an issue until 
uh, you either lose prime in the fuel filter uh, going up to the high pressure fuel pump. Uh, keep in mind this PD engine does not have a uh, fuel injection pump at the front uh, that does the sucking of the fuel through the ga from the gas tank. Uh, so this transfer pump supplies the fuel filter and then up to the high pressure fuel pump uh, with fuel. Um, and 80% um, of the vehicles that I run into uh, that have these pumps will run fine with the pump not working. Uh, but I have had them where, uh, I think I mentioned before in one of my other videos, where I did an oil change, shut the car off uh, to do the oil change, and went to start it, and then the car would not start. Uh, and then I tapped on the bottom of the gas tank, and uh, the vehicle started. Um, in those cases too also, there may be other factors. Either there was an air bubble that's sitting in the fuel filter, and it's not bleeding itself out. And then the next time I start it, it that air bubble moves up to the uh, high pressure pump, and then uh, the system starves of fuel. I can't explain any further because I didn't any, didn't investigate any further in those cases. Uh, but doing the current ramp, not seeing any movement of uh, electricity, uh, and then replacing the uh, fuel pump, uh, got the car started again. So anyways, um, check your pumps uh, for uh, operation. All you got to do is put a screwdriver onto the uh, sending unit, put your ear against the screwdriver and listen for a nice steady even buzzing sound. If you hear any roughness, irregularity, uh, time for a new pump. If you have an ohm meter, uh, sorry, if you have a um, amp meter, you can check your amperage. Usually it's about six to seven amps that they draw. Um, having a uh, digital graphing multimeter or a oscilloscope uh, or a lab scope that can graph current waveforms such as this is ideal or would be the best scenario to verify uh, the condition of the pump. Okay, key on. Nice. Waiting for the cursor to go past to the beginning. We'll do it again. Key on. And pause. Save. 2005. Good. Just going to let it run. play again. I see a nice pattern now. Move my trigger up. Nice and stationary. Almost forgot to show you the fix or the new pump current wave. Um, or data capture. Uh, let me just scroll forward here. Okay, here's the initial spike where the uh, key is turned to the on position. You can see amperage going well past uh, 8 amps. Uh, and then as it starts to spin, the amperage comes down because it takes less effort to um, uh, turn the pump. And then also because it's as with any type of motor, the um, uh, current limiting through the windings etc or voltage current going feeding back into the system causing it to maintain a certain rpm uh, i can't explain it too too well um, my engineering degree is not uh, quite where it's supposed to be uh, i think terry or Stu Stusman uh, 52 would be able to explain further but you can see here amperage is nice and steady uh, with a five amp peak here and about three and a half um, if my scaling was right. Um, again, uh, nice and steady, uniform, e even humps uh, showing a nice current draw, current wrapping of a fuel pump. And then here I just shut the car off again and obviously things go flatline.